Welcome to Scholar in Session. Our video will look at an important paper in the journal ATS Scholar. Here, we discuss the paper, Simulation-Based Mastery Learning Improves Critical Care Skills of Advanced Practice Providers by researchers from Northwestern University and Northwestern Medical Group. Hospital Intensive Care Units, ICUs, have increasingly begun to employ Advanced Practice Providers, or APPs, which includes nurse practitioners and physician assistants to help improve patient outcomes and cost-effectiveness. However, despite the need for high competence in critical procedures, there is a dearth of standardized training modules for ICU APPs. In addition, there is a lack of uniform guidelines for assessing the ability of APPs to independently perform complex ICU-based tasks. To this end, the authors of this study propose a competency-based simulated skill assessment module called Simulation-Based Mastery Learning. Simulation-based mastery learning assumes a rigorous approach and requires all participants to meet a minimum passing standard. The authors used simulation-based mastery learning for training and evaluating 12 ICU APPs at an academic hospital. For simulation-based mastery learning, the researchers used routinely performed crucial ICU skills, internal jugular vein catheter insertion, subclavian vein catheter insertion, thoracentesis, and mechanical ventilation. All the participants underwent rigorous training sessions involving proper demonstration of procedures and practice sessions with customized feedback. Following training, a marked improvement in the minimum passing standard was observed for all procedures, from 67.2% to 97.1% for internal jugular vein catheter insertion from 29.2% to 93.1% for subclavian vein catheter insertion, from 63.9% to 99.2% for thoracentesis, and from 54.8% to 92.3% for mechanical ventilation. In summary, simulation-based mastery learning offers an effective and methodical approach for comprehensively training APPs to perform diverse critical care tasks at the ICU. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Caitlin M. Vitali and colleagues. Thank you for watching Scholar in Session.